welcome to VTs. In this class, we are going to discuss about introduction to the logic gate. So the name itself indicates that it is like normal gates. Okay. So if you want to allow or deny a person, we are using normal gates, right? In that similar way, in the digital circuit, if you want to allow or deny a digital signal, we are using this logic gates. Okay. So by using this logic gates, the gate can allow specific combinations of inputs and gives the output in the form of Boolean expressions. And also these logic gates are used to define the Boolean expressions. Whatever the Boolean expressions we give, we have to convert it in the logic gates. Okay. So these are the main building blocks of the digital circuits. And without these logic gates, we can't design any digital circuit. Okay. So in these logic gates, we have seven types that are basic logic gates, universal gates and the special gates. In the basic gates, we have three types. We have three types that is end, or and not. In the universal gate, we have two types, NAND and NOR. In the special gates, we have two types, XOR and XNOR. So totally, we have seven number of logic gates. So let's see here. So in the logic gates, the inputs and outputs can occur only in the levels of 1 and 0. So only in two levels that is 1 and 0 or it should be termed as high or 0 should be termed as low or it should be termed as true or it should be termed as false and in sometimes it should be termed as on condition and it is in off condition. Okay. So the input and output behavior of a gate is generally represented using the truth tables. Okay. Let's see the several gates here. So first one is the not gate. So in this not gate, we are having only one input and the one output. Okay. So let's see the logic symbol of the not gate. We are having logic symbol the this one. So we are applying input to the here and we are getting output in this place. So this is also known as the inverter or this is also known as the complement of the input. And how this symbol came means we are already know that what is the buffer. Buffer means like this, right? So when we are applying any input that is like a we are getting the same input okay we are getting the same output in that case just we are applying bubble to this buffer suppose if you are applying input as a it should be written as a bar it should be written as a bar or it should be written as a complement okay so let's see the here so this is the logic symbol of the not gate and boolean expression is what we are getting here or x equal to a bar right so it can be written as a bar, a complement or a bar. So two table, when we are applying zero here, we are getting as inverted. That is when we are applying zero, we are getting one as output. When we are applying one to the input, we are getting zero to the output. So just remember the switch diagrams, no need to write in the exams. You have to write only the logic symbol, Boolean expression and the truth table. Okay. So in this not gate, we are using 7404 IC. So just remember this thing and you no need to write in the exam. Okay. So next one, next gate is end gate. In the end gates, we are using with more number of two or more number of inputs. Okay. So the logic symbol of the end gate is nothing is like this. It is in the U shape. Okay. Here we are applying two inputs that is nothing but A and B and we are getting output as let's say X. So here we are applying two inputs, right? That's why we are taking four combinations means two inputs means two power two. What we are getting four. So that's why we are taking the four combinations. So let's see here the end gate will be represented in multiplication. So if it can be written as X is equal to multiplication of these two numbers to these two inputs that is nothing but A dot B. So let's see the two table here. So when we are applying zero zero combination here. So what we get 0 into 0 nothing but 0 right. So that is 0. So when we are applying 0 into 1 0 1 into 0 0 1 into 1 1 for only 1 and 1 we are getting high voltage remaining all we are getting low voltages right. So let's see the switch diagram. So when we are applying voltage here we are taking the two switches with which are connected in series. So here. When we are taking 0 here, it is in open circuit, it is in off condition 
and when we are taking one here it is in short circuited means it is in on condition let's see the switching diagram you no need to write in the exam okay check the conditions here so when we are taking 0 0 what are you getting here 0 means it is in off condition right so the circuit is in open circuit and also another one is also 0 so the circuit is in open circuit so the signal is not passed through the switches so we are not having the any output means we are having 0 here next we, when we are taking 0 1 so first means uh, in switch 1 0 means it is in off condition so it is a open circuit and switch B is 1 means it is in on condition means the circuit is in short circuited part. Uh, the signal is taken to the input and passing through the switch 1. So here there is a cut here. So the signal is not passing through the output right. That is why we are taking as 0 and next condition 1 0. 1 means on condition right. So the switch 1 is in short circuited path. So here the signal is passed through the switch 1 but it is not passed through the switch 2 because it is in off condition means it is open circuited path. So the signal is not passing to the output right. So that is why we are taking as 0 and let us check the other condition that is 1 1. So 1 1 means both the switches are in on condition nothing but both the switches are in short circuited path. So the signal which we are taking in the input is directly passed to the output right. So that's why we are getting the high voltages in the output. So let's see the ender gate that is OR gate. So the representation of the OR gate is nothing but X is equal to A plus B. Either this one or that one. Okay. So just see the symbol logic symbol here. We have drawn like this. In exam you have to draw neatly. Okay. A and B are the inputs and X is the output. Okay. So the expression is X is equal to A plus B. It is a Boolean form. It is in a Boolean form. So let us take the two table here when we are taking the four combinations because we are having the two inputs here that is why we are taking the four combinations. So 0, 0, 0 plus 0 is nothing but 0. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1, 1. Okay. So let us see here in this switching circuit we are connected the switches are in parallel right. So when we are taking the combination 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So what we are having here? 0, 0 means the both the switches are in off condition. So, no signal is passing through the switches. And next one, 0, 1. One of the switch is in off condition and one of the switch is in on condition. So, the switch B is in short circuited part. So, the signal is passed through the switch B and getting the output as high voltage. And take the next one, 1, 0. So, the switch 1 is in on condition and switch 2 is in off condition. So, the signal is passed through the switch 1. It should be taken as output in output as 1. Then the output should be taken as 1 that is high voltage. So next one 1 1. Both the switches are in on condition. So the signal which we are taking in the input can be passed through the output. Okay. Can be passed through the switches to the output. So we are getting the high voltage. So let us see the next gate that is exclusive or. So this is also known as the inequality detector means if you are having odd number of ones it should be given as 1 only. Suppose if you are taking any logics like 0, 0, 1. So, here we are having the 1 number of 1. So, 1 is odd number, right? So, it gives the output as 1. Suppose we are taking 0, 1, 1. Here we are having even number of 1s. That is why it should be given as 0 like that. So, let us see here. So, the logic symbol of the XOR gate is drawn like this. And the inputs are A and B and output B X. Let us say. Let us say output be the X. So, here when we are taking the the XOR gate can be represented as X is equal to A X or B. So, this is the XOR symbol. Okay, It should be read as A X or B. And the expression is X is equal to A bar B plus A B bar. So, let us check the expression. Okay, When we are taking the two table with four combinations. So, when we are taking 0 0. That is 0 bar means nothing but 1. B means 0 plus 0 into 0 bar. 1 right. So, what we are getting? 0. So, 0. So, next take the combination 0 1. 0 means 1 into 1 plus A means 0 into 1 bar means 0. That is nothing but 1. So, we are getting 1 here. Next let us take the ender combination that is 1 0. 1 bar 0 into B 0 plus 1 into 0 bar 1. That is nothing but 1. So, we are writing 1 here. Next 1 1 condition. When we are taking 1 bar here, 0 into 1 plus 1 into 
zero. That is nothing but zero. That's why we are taking zero here. Okay. Let's see the another gate that is your exclusive OR gate. So in the exclusive OR, it is a equality detector. Okay. If you are having even number of ones, it should be written as one only. So let's take the logic symbol here. This is nothing but complement of the XOR gate. It should be drawn as complement. Right. So let's inputs be the A and B and output be X. So it can be represented as X A X nor B. So this is a symbol of X nor. Okay. So this can be written as X is equal to A B plus A bar B bar. So let's check the two table here. When we are taking two co four combinations, first one is zero zero. So when we are applying zero zero here, zero zero plus zero bar zero bar. That is into one into one. That is nothing but one, right? So we are applying one here. Next one is zero one. So when we are taking here zero into one plus zero bar one into zero. So it should be zero. So next one one zero. Nothing but one into zero plus 0 into 1, nothing but 0. Next one, 1 1. 1 1 means 1 into 1 plus 0 into 0, nothing but 1, right? So we are writing 1 here. So next one is universal gates. Why we are calling these are universal gates means suppose when we are taking the NAND here, but by using the normal gates, we are writing it as let's take the end gate first. So let A and B the inputs. What is the output here? X is equal to A dot B, right? What is the end gate output? X is equal to A dot B. And let's take the NOT gate. So what is the output me here? X is equal to A dot B complement. So this is the output. So here for the NAND gate, we are using two gates here. So instead of using two gates, we are using only one gate. That is complement of the NAND gate. That is nothing but NAND gate, right? So here by using this NAND gate, we are reducing the area and we are reducing the hardware of the uh, component hardware of the device because we are using two gates here and we are using one gate here so let's see the logic symbol here so the logic symbol of the nand gate is nothing but end gate with complement so what we are getting here let a and b the input and x is the output is a dot b complement okay let's take the two table here so zero zero nothing but zero into zero bar 1, 0 into 1, 0 bar 1, 1 into 0, 0 bar 1, 1 into 1, 1, 1 bar means 0, right? So, this is exactly the opposite of the end gate. So, let's see the NAND gate as universal gates. By implementing the NOT gate, end gate and OR gate using the NAND gates, okay? So, first one is implementing the NOT gate by using the NAND gate. So, let's see the symbols here. So, first one is NOT gate means when we are applying A here, we are getting A bar. So, in that place, we are taking NAND gate here. So, it can be written as for the input of NAND gate, we are getting A bar only. Next one is implementing end gate. So, what is the end gate here? When we are applying two inputs here, we are getting X is equal to A, B, right? So, by using the NAND gates, by, by using the NAND gate, we are constructing like this. So, first we are taking the NAND gate. What is the NAND gate output? That is nothing but A, B bar, right? So, that's why we are taking N the NAND gate. Means we have A, B bar with complement bar. So, it can be written as nothing but this one and this one will disappear and we will getting A, B. So, this is the end gate, right? So, let's see the other one. Implementing of NOR, OR gate using the NAND gates. So, what is the OR gate output? X is equal to A plus B. So, let's take the first end gate with one input. That is A. When we are applying A here, we are getting A bar. And when we are applying B here, we are getting B bar. So, when we are applying both these inputs to the end of NAND gate, we are getting A bar, B bar with complement. So, nothing but A bar, B bar with complement, right? So, by using the De Morgan's law, it can be written as A plus B. I hope you all understand these logic gates. Thank you.